welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a day vs night look. So the first look I'm going to be creating is the day look and this is just going to be a very simple everyday natural kind of makeup look and then I'll be changing it up and doing a night look which will be a lot more dramatic. I thought it would just be a really great idea to do sort of like a very contrasting two looks so I hope you enjoy this video and let's get straight into the makeup. So to start with for the day look, I am going to be using my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade number C4. And then I'm just going to take this under my eyes and then also on any spots that I currently have which of course have decided to appear as I'm filming a makeup video. I'm now just going to blend that in using this little triangular sponge. blended in I'm just taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in the shade number 5 Silky Beige. Side note, if you notice I'm holding brushes weirdly it's because I did accidentally slightly cut the end of my finger the other day in the kitchen um, so it's a bit sore but that's why I can't really apply too much pressure with that finger. I'm now going to take my Tanya Burr Cosmetics Peachy Glow Cheek Palette and from this I'm going to take the bronzer using my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I'm just going to apply a bit of this under my cheekbones either side and then also around the side of my face in a kind of three shape and then also along the top of my forehead and the tip of my nose and then along my cheek just to add a very subtle natural kind of glow. And then from this same palette I'm just now going to take the blush which is called Apricot Flush and just apply a little bit of this to my cheeks just to add a nice subtle pinky tone. And finally from this palette I'm going to use the highlighter which is called Champagne Shimmer and I'm going to apply this using my Body Shop Fan Brush just to my cheeks just to add a little bit of an extra glow. I'm now taking my NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I'm just going to brush out my brows and then I'm going to use this just to give them a very natural outline and just fill them in ever so slightly and give them a little bit of definition. I'm now just taking my Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat palette and from this palette I am going to start by just taking the shade Hot Spell which is the third one along here and I'm just going to apply this to my crease using the Essential Crease Brush by Real Techniques. And then I'm just going to take the shade, what is it called, Vibrate, which is the second one along here and I'm going to now use the Real Techniques Medium Shadow Brush and apply this just below my crease onto my main eyelid. And these are the only two shades I'm going to use on my eyes just to keep it very subtle and very natural. And then I'm just going to blend that out using my NYX Blending Brush. I'm now just going to use my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara and I'm just going to apply two layers of this to my top lashes and one layer to my bottom eyelashes. Now to finish off this natural day look, I'm just going to use my NYX Mega Shine Gloss in the shade Natural. And that's my finished natural day look, so now let's get straight in to doing the night look. So then now for the night look, I'm going to start by taking my Kiko Liquid Skin Second Skin Foundation and I'm using the one in the shade Cool Rose. And to start with, I'm just going to take the little dropper tool that it comes with and just put a few drops of this around my face. I'm now just going to blend that in using a damp beauty blender. 
now just going to take the same Revolution Concealer and Define Concealer in the shade C4, the same one as I used before, and again just put some of this under my eyes and on any spots that I've got. And I'm just going to blend that out with the same little triangular sponge. I'm now just using my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm going to start by taking this dark brown shade along here, the second one along from the bottom. And to apply this I'm just going to use my Real Techniques Contour Brush. I'm going to start by putting this under my cheekbones either side. And then I'm just going to put a little bit along my forehead and then down either side of my nose and then along my chin and then I'll generally go back to my cheekbones again just to apply a second layer here and then from this same palette I'm just going to take the yellow shade here and with this one I'm just going to apply a bit to the center of my chin down the center of my nose under my eyes on my cheeks and then finally just a bit to the centre of my forehead. And then finally from this palette I'm going to take this pinky shimmery shade here and this one I'm just going to apply to the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, centre of my chin, just a little bit under my eyes either side and then a teeny bit in the small area of the centre of my forehead. And then from that same Tanya Burr Peachy Glow Cheek Palette that I used before, I'm just going to use the blush from this, the Apricot Flush Blush, and just apply some of this to my cheeks. And then I'm now just going to take my H&M Highlight Palette, and from this one I am using the pink, oh, Nelly dropped it, that would not have been good. As you can see I have dropped it a couple of times, there's some missing from this shade. But I'm going to take the pink shade and I'm going to apply this using my Body Shop Fan Brush to my cheekbones, then also to the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, tip of my chin, and the centre of my forehead before then bringing it back round my eyes along to my cheekbones. And then now once again I'm going to be using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in order to just fill out my brows and give them some shape and definition. I'm now just going to use my NYX HD eyeshadow base in order to prime my eyes before applying some eyeshadow. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this along my eyelids using the wand it comes with and then I'm just going to rub that in using my finger. So then now for my eyes I'm going to be using my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette and from here I'm going to start by taking the shade Tease and I'm going to apply the shade all over my eyelid and I'll be using the Real Techniques medium shadow brush to apply this. I haven't used this palette in a while so I want to change it up and go back to it because these colours and shades in here are so great for a night look so I thought I would give it a go again. And then I'm now going to take the shade Suspect which is this one here and I'm going to apply it using the Real Techniques again, the shading brush and I'm going to apply this to the outer half of my eyelid. And I'm just blending that out using my NYX blending brush. I'm then going to use the shade YDK, which is this one over here, and I'm going to apply it using my Essential Crease brush, again from the Real Techniques range, and I'm just going to apply this to the outer half of my crease. once again just blending that out with my NYX blending brush. And then using the Real Techniques shading brush I'm going to apply the shade Busted which is the really deep brown here right into the outer corner of my eyelid. And then finally blending that out again with, you've guessed it, my NYX blending brush. And finally from this palette I'm going to take the shade Booty Cool which is the really pale, shiny kind of shimmery shade 
right at the end of the palette, right towards the end of the palette. I'm using the medium shadow brush or shading brush, no shadow brush, to apply this just under my brow bone each side, just to add a nice subtle shimmer. To finish off my eyes, I'm just using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara again. And once again, I'm just going to apply two layers of this to my top eyelashes and then one layer to my bottom eyelashes. off my look I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner matte liquid lipstick in the shade I think this is yeah it's brown sugar just to add to those brown tones that I've used on the eyes and then just to make sure this look all stays in place I'm just going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter makeup setting spray And there we go, that is my night look now complete too. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash a big thumbs up on it if you did. Definitely let me know if you give either of these looks a go or mix it up and do some kind of variation of this look. Be sure to tweet me your pictures. All my socials are always linked down below or tag me on Instagram either way. Make sure you're following me over there. Also, I don't often mention on this channel, but just in case you're not aware, I do also have a second channel where I post vlogs at the moment while I've been at uni I've just been posting weekend vlogs so every week a new weekend vlog will go up and yeah be sure to head over there and subscribe to see what I get up to more in my day-to-day -day life at uni and we're also really close to 100 subscribers on that channel we might already be there by the time this video goes up but maybe not so definitely head over there and give a little subscribe over there too also for this channel there is that red subscribe button down below so be sure that you do click on that button down below I'd love it if you could do that as well as tapping on the notifications bell so that you're notified whenever I upload and I'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!